Now in this video right now, I'm gonna teach you some tricks and some games you can play to manipulate a man into chasing you and only you. Says every scammy ass video on YouTube about how to get a man to chase you. So instead of feeding you some regurgitated that most of these dating experts on YouTube actually will tell you, I'm going to give you the real deal stuff you can do that will naturally make men pursue you and only you without you playing any bullshit games or any of these tricks or tips that they give you because ultimately this goes against all of what I teach at Sexy Confidence, which is leading with honesty and self-confidence in relationships. <laughs> What's up you sexy single ladies, Adam LaDolce from SexyConfidence.com and this video is all about teaching you sexy single ladies three ways to get a man to chase you and only you. And my number one promise to you as being a part of the Sexy Confidence community is I'm not going to teach you to manipulate men to play games or any of that BS. Because Sexy Confidence is founded on this idea of loving yourself and bringing your best self forward and being honest throughout the entire dating process. So no more manipulation, no more mind games, no more BS. This video is all about how to position yourself as a high value woman that naturally gets men to pursue you and only you. You're gonna like this one. So here are three steps you can take right now to actually get men to chase you. Step number one, stop chasing men. If a man's not investing his energy into you, you do not invest your energy into him. So how do you actually stop chasing people you're attracted to? Well, it's important to understand why it is you're actually chasing someone in the first place. If you're the type of woman who constantly chases men who are not interested in you, then chances are you're not actually chasing the guy. Instead, you're chasing the idea of the guy. Maybe you're chasing attention from the guy. Maybe you're chasing the status that he brings because he's a very high status guy. Or maybe you're chasing a relationship status because you think that if you are in a relationship then suddenly you're going to be happy. So the way to stop chasing a guy is to stop chasing that feeling and more importantly stop thinking that that feeling is what's ultimately going to make you happy. So from this point forward, stop chasing and just start being present. Step number two, start qualifying your dates. And what qualifying basically means is ask them legitimate questions about themselves to decide whether or not they're actually a fit for you. And the only way you can do this is if you go into a date or into any type of flirtation situation knowing with all of your certainty that you are the prize that he needs to win over. And it's a really good way to change the power dynamic when you're going out with someone that you're really attracted to and feel like they might even be a little bit out of your league. Ask him questions about his family, about why he went into the career he went into, about what he likes to do for fun. And if he doesn't have any passion or any interest, then ask him, why not? You don't want to be a jerk about it, but really dive into those questions and get to know him because you are qualifying to see if he's a good potential match for you. So this requires a mindset shift because instead of trying to impress the guy, instead you're just trying to see if he's a good match for you. You're going to get him to convince you that he's a good mate for you. And this actually works in a lot of different situations. I recently was hiring someone for Sexy Confidence and I was asking them all these questions. It was kind of an interview, just trying to see what is their experience? You know, are they right for the job? And just the kind of standard, you know, interview type of questions. And then I only got to like my third question. And before I was able to move forward, this one particular woman, she was like, wait, wait, hold on actually. I, I, before we even go further, I really want to get to know you. Like, tell me more about your company. And then she started asking me about like the vision of the company and where we see this thing going and what it is that we'd like to do. And before I know it, I'm trying to convince her to come work for me. So instead of me trying to decide if I should hire her, she was deciding if she wanted to work for me. You see how it's a very subtle shift in power, but suddenly it got me chasing her as an employer. I wanted her to come work for me. And yes, I did hire her. Touche. Finally, step number three is to just be less available. Now again, let's go to the sketchy videos across YouTube about how to get a guy to chase you. There are a lot of really stupid rules out there. Like if a guy waits 30 minutes to respond to your text, then you should wait an hour to respond to his. Or if he tries to make plans with you, but he only does it a day in advance, always tell him that you are busy. All of these things are manipulative bullshit. Here's why. Because they are not coming from a place of honesty. Instead of playing these ridiculous games every single step of the way and hoping and praying that you're going to trick him into thinking that you're really cool or you got all this other going on, instead of all that, 
actually have going on in your life. As being a part of this incredible sexy confidence community, this is all about actually improving your social life, actually being able to put your phone down and not feel like you have to respond every 10 seconds and actually being so busy at what you're doing that you're not checking your phone every two seconds, so you're naturally not going to respond to them within 30 minutes. That is the ultimate goal, is to have so much going on in your life, both socially or potential romantic partners, that if a guy starts pulling some bull then you're just gonna naturally weed him out because it's not going to work for you. And this is exactly how it is that you get men to chase you without actually trying. It's because by doing these three things, you're naturally going to be a high value woman that a man is naturally going to want to pursue. So if you enjoyed this video and you want more on how to be a high value woman that men naturally want to pursue, I actually just released a brand new course in the Sexy Confidence Club called The High Value Woman. We'll leave a link somewhere down there below. But if you wanna check out the Sexy Confidence Club, we have a ton of courses in there. We also have an amazing private community where I can answer all of your questions as well as you can join me live q and a i would love to see you in there you can try it free for the next 14 days this is my way of giving back to all of you so check that out at sexyconference.com and of course please if you enjoyed this video give it a like on youtube don't forget to subscribe on youtube and i will speak to you you sexy single lady next week Bye bye